So that's what I did. I just took a computer and I gave it to them. I stuck it in a wall because there wasn't any other place to put it. And, uh, and I didn't tell them to do anything. And I turned it on and just left it there. Because I didn't know what, I, what, what would I do after that. I just felt good that, okay, I'd taken a computer. Uh, I, I hadn't spent any money on it. I stole it from my office. <laughs> <laughs> and, and stuck it into, I didn't steal it. I asked the IT guys, I said, do you have a computer that's lying around doing nothing? Just give it to me. <laughs> and, and stuck it in that. And, and, and so, well, I've done it. There, there it is. They can have their computer. And then the rest is history. They started using it, they started downloading stuff, they started doing all sorts of things in a language that they didn't know, English. So all hell broke loose. <laughs> okay? Uh, the first bit was from teachers. You're cheating, they said. You taught them. This can't be happening. You taught them and you're saying that nobody did. How to approve that? Um, luckily for me, um, the World Bank stepped in. You know, of all people, the World Bank. Because they said, if there is even the slightest grain of truth in what you're saying, then this is a huge money saver. If children can learn how to use a computer on their own. So go ahead, either prove it or disprove it. So that was my introduction to social science. Okay. I repeated it, repeated the experiment 20 something times. And each time the same thing happened. I mean, it's a big deal. Everybody knows this in this room. So you give, give a group of children a computer and they do funny things with it. It wasn't known at that time. So I was able to publish the results and say, well, it, it actually happens and the whole thing got called the hole in the wall. So you might have seen this bit of video, but I'll show it to you because it kind of takes me back in time. So there's this guy on the right, he's eight years old. He was eight years old. His name is Rajinder. He is now, well, you can figure it out, uh, 1999, he was eight years old, so he's, whatever, 20-something. Uh, and then hundreds and hundreds of children, all of them have grown up now. And I wish I could tell you that all of them have become brilliant computer programmers. <laughs> they haven't. Okay. Rajinder uh, runs a tea stall, sells tea on the footpath of New Delhi. Uh, he couldn't afford college. If you don't go to college, it doesn't matter what you know. So, there are a few success stories, but that wasn't the point. This is the, this is the time when you have to think, what does the playground do? Why is it important? 